Hi, my name is Ravi Dhingra. In this video, we'll talk about tripod and its importance in photography. In mid 19th century, when photography came into existence, cameras were big and it was impossible to take pictures holding the camera in hand. That is why tripods were used and these tripods are made of wood. Now the technology has improved, cameras have become smaller and there's an option to use higher ISOs and cameras have got image stabilization. The most important reason for using a tripod is getting sharp image all the time. When we use a camera holding it in hands, there's a possibility of a camera shake and the images may be blurred or may not be sharp. When we take pictures while holding the camera in hand, we need a particular shutter speed, which is called safe shutter speed to avoid camera shake. Generally, this speed is 1 60th of a second. If the light is low, then there's a possibility of camera shake. You may not be able to get 1 60th of a second. For that, either you increase the ISO and when you increase the ISO, there are some grains which appear in your pictures and they don't look nice when the picture is enlarged. Even the camera's image stabilization option has some limitation which doesn't work after a certain point. In low light conditions, when safe shutter speed is not possible, use of tripod becomes essential. Also, when we want to increase our depth of field, we want to use lower aperture values like f11, f16, f22 and the light is not sufficient for these lower apertures, we need to use a tripod to get a higher depth of field. While working indoors using available light, light is never sufficient to hold the camera in hand and take photographs. You may be doing food photography, product photography or interior photography. We definitely need a tripod to stabilize the camera so that the camera shake can be avoided. And we are able to achieve higher depth of field also by using lower aperture numbers with the help of a tripod. So far, we have seen that we need the tripod to keep the camera stable and avoid camera shake when we are working in low light conditions. We also need the tripod to get a higher depth of field when we are working with lower aperture values like f11, f16, f22. But tripod has another role to play, very important role, while composing the photograph. So now I'm going to discuss the use of tripod for composition purposes. Let's talk of architectural and interiors photography first. In architecture projects and interior projects, lines are very important. We get to see horizontal lines and vertical lines. And we try to match the horizontal lines with the horizontal plane of the camera and vertical lines with the vertical plane of the camera. While holding the camera in hand, it is very difficult to match all the four lines, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. But when your camera is on a tripod, it becomes much more easy to align and keep the lines parallel, the horizontal lines parallel to the horizontal plane and vertical lines parallel to the vertical plane. Let's talk about food and product photography now. When we are composing a shot in food or product photography, what our eyes sees and what the camera sees is slightly different. So at times we have to make certain funny adjustments. We have to do fine tuning. So when our camera is fixed at a particular spot, it is very easy to move forward and make those necessary changes in the composition. But if the camera is held in the hand and you move to make the changes, then you're not, you're not really able to go back to the same position. So it is very important that your camera is kept at a certain position and you move your uh, position to make those necessary changes which are required in the composition. Long exposure photography, which means working with very slow shutter speed 
is not possible without a tripod. It could be landscape photography, where you are trying to show the movement of clouds or want to create that motion blur effect in the water which is flowing or it could be night sky or it could be architectural photographs in blue hour which is before the sunrise or after the sunset. These pictures are not possible without the help of a tripod. When we talk of macro photography, we are talking of close-up photography, like when you're doing jewelry photography, objects are very small and you go very close to the subject to take the picture. But what happens in those cases, because of the distance, you're too close to the subject, there is a possibility that the product is not overall sharp. It is sharp at only certain points because of less depth of field. So in these situations, we use a technique called focus stacking where we take multiple pictures at different focus points and merge them together in an editing software. While holding the camera in hand, it is impossible to do this, but with the camera on a tripod, this is very much possible. When we talk of panorama, panorama basically means you are taking multiple pictures because there is a limitation to your lens, camera lens, because your camera lens is not able to capture the whole scene in one photograph. So what you do is you basically you pan the camera and take three, four, five shots and stitch them together in a multi, in an editing software. So when the camera is on a tripod, the alignment of images is much more easy as compared to when you're holding the camera in the hand. You must have heard of a term called HDR, high dynamic range. Basically, if in a scene, there are too many bright areas and too many dark areas, the camera may not be able to capture all the details in all the bright areas and dark areas. So what you basically do is take multiple exposures, you do bracketing, where you take three, five shots, three or five shots, some overexposed, some underexposed, and one correctly exposed. And then you merge them together in an editing software. So when your camera is on a tripod, to take this, these shots, these uh, bracketed shots, is much more simpler as compared to when you're holding the camera in your hand. We have seen that tripod is very useful for our photography. It keeps the camera stable and steady. We can avoid camera shake. And when we want to achieve higher depth of field, we want to work with lower aperture values like f11, f16, f22, then camera on tripod really helps. Also, when we are doing macro photography, panoramas and HDR images, then also tripod is a very useful accessory. And most importantly, for composition purposes, whether it is food photography, product photography, interiors or architectural photography. When we are looking for composing a particular scene, alignment of lines and doing fine tuning, the tripod comes very handy and it makes our task much more simpler as compared to holding the camera in hand and taking photographs. When you buy a camera, you start thinking of buying more lenses, lights and other accessories. So my advice will be that start thinking of buying a good quality tripod also. Tripod is an investment. It lasts quite long. The tripod which I have, I've been using it for almost 20 years now. You don't change your tripod now and then. So the tripod has to become a part of your kit bag other than your cameras, lenses, memory cards. So tripod has to be there in your kit bag. Hope you liked the video and found it informative. In case you have any questions or queries, please write in comments and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.